everyone and welcome to my cruise channel. Today we're going to talk about all the different kinds of apps that you can download before you head on your cruise, specifically the ones that are run by the cruise lines. But before I get into all that, I must ask if you like this video, if you find it at all helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below. Alright, so let's get to it. So I know that Royal Caribbean has the Royal Caribbean app. Celebrity has the Celebrity Cruises app. Carnival has the Carnival Hub app. I believe that Princess has the Medallion app. And I'm not sure if Disney or MSC has apps for their cruise line. But there are several different reasons to download a cruise line app before you even set foot on your trip. There's several different planning options that you can utilize and they're basically the same throughout all the apps they are just under slightly different names so one of the things you can do is and actually I find this the most helpful is you can do your entire online check-in process which will make things so much easier on embarkation day you won't have to go through all the security checkpoints and things like that you could just head right to the ship. So I know that Royal opens theirs, I believe, 45 days before you head on the ship. There are different, different cruise lines have different rules for that, but they're basically the same functions. So for that, you'll need your passport or your birth certificate and driver's license if you have that. And you'll have to answer a really quick less than two minute health questionnaire and you can also upload your embarkation photo directly on the app so when you get to the terminal you literally just show them the app if that and you can walk right on the ship so that is a huge time saver and is one of my favorites the other things that you can do on the app include booking shows. In some cases, the cruise lines do require that you book ahead for certain shows, specifically if space is limited. For example, I know I just got off of Anthem of the Seas and they had only one show that requires reservations and that's Spectra's Cabaret because the venue is much smaller than their typical theater and things like that so we did have to book that in advance it was totally free and i think norwegian does the same on their app too but i think their process for booking shows i think theirs opens about three months in advance for that and it's just, it's in, it's incredible. It makes it so much easier. All you do when you get to the theater is you open your app and you show them your reservation number and they can check you in right there. There are some excursions, well, I'll call them excursions, that happen on the ship that do require reservations as well. For example... Again, using Anthem of the Seas, they have reservations for the North Star. Now, there's two different options you can use for this. There's the paid option, which takes you out over the side of the ship. Those can be reserved pretty much at any time. However, there's an extra charge for that. But if you decide to do the free option, which I've done, those reservations open up about a day in advance, and they're absolutely free. Now, if you're late for the appointment, that's a $25 charge, I believe. So if you decide to book activities through the app, you really wanna make sure that you're on time. Finally, in some cases, you can also book excursions that are on land through the app as well. Now, Generally, these happen to be the same price as you would book online. Sometimes it might be slightly different. You might get a slight discount. But the advantage of booking through the app or through their online website 
is if you want a specific excursion, you won't have to wait in those long lines at the shore excursion desk and run the possibility of them running out of space for you. I remember I didn't do that for one of the ships that I was on, and it was the excursion to go to Kendi Space Center. So I thought, hey, you know, I'll just wait and do it on the ship, you know, it'll be more convenient. Yes, um, my mistake was waiting until we got on the ship, because by the time we got there, the excursion was sold out. So I always make sure that I book ahead whenever I go on a cruise now, and you might actually get a discount, especially if you're a loyalty member, to book ahead. So my advice, book as far in advance as you possibly can. And the final advantage to having your apps downloaded before you even set foot on the ship is you can often book your dining and beverage packages before you even set foot on that ship. And at times for that, you might be able to get a discount too. Plus, if you already have your dining packages already booked, you might be able to reserve specialty dining for any night on the ship, which could be an advantage to you because they often have limited seating. So if you don't make a reservation in time, you could lose your spot. Now, there are also some advantages to having your cruise line app already downloaded even on the day that you leave for your cruise. One of my favorite things that has happened since COVID was a lot of them decided to put their muster drills in the app. It's called eMuster Drill. And for more information on how that all works, I have a video linked in the description. It is so much easier to do the muster drill. Trust me. If you have it on the app, just trust me, get it done. It takes less than 10 minutes to do and you'll be on your way, on your on your merry way on the cruise ship much, much faster. Now, there is still an advantage to having the app already on your phone when you get on the ship as well. A lot of the cruise lines have decided to put their activity schedules on the app and get rid of the paper the paper activity schedules that they used to have. So if you want to stay in the know with everything that's happening on the cruise ship, it's best to have that app downloaded. Now, in most cases, the app is free to use and you can hop on the ship's Wi-Fi for no extra charge and use it to look up the activities. However, There are some apps such as the Carnival Hub app that have a chat feature that will cost you an extra fee if you decide to chat with other members of your party and use the chat function. I believe that's a $5 charge. I could be wrong on that, but I'm almost positive it's a $5 charge. And you'll find the same with Royal or Celebrity. Now, I don't know if Royal and Celebrity charge extra for the chat feature or not, but I do know that you do have to be, I think, 13 or older to be able to use that function. So if staying in touch with family and friends is important to you while you're on the trip, I would definitely take a look at that. And when then that information can be found on your cruise line's website. So I would definitely check that out. So that's my thoughts on cruise line apps for now. Again, if you like this video, if you find it at all helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below. And I'll see you soon. Bon voyage!